guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 3 and 4 of Jabba's Reincarnation. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 3. And 3, 2, 1, go. I still feel like Rudy's going to see her again. But it, it, are we showing the panties part? Oh my god. <laughs> are we praying over the... You want your son to have a harem, sir? <laughs> mm-hmm. And don't be kind to everybody because not everybody wants to be your friend. Oh, that's pretty. I don't think you should eat that, though. <laughs> Hey, not the rock!
are so pretty. Wait, wait. Do you have a red gem on your forehead? Yeah. I mean, but he is an elf. No, you look cute. You almost look like a girl. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you're a girl, but you look so handsome. So, oh, did you see him? <laughs> My ears perked up. That's so cute. Oh, yeah, what is your name? Yeah, I'm still, I'm, I'm calling it. She's, Sylph is a girl. You can just tell. Like, it, it, I wouldn't be surprised once again, but come on now. That's a girl. <laughs> Plus the voice. Yeah, you're coming home after dark. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's a typical parent move. Mm-hmm. 
They were bullying someone. And besides, now you want to hear him out after you slapped your own kid? Almost definitely. Yeah, because you can't say no to that face. That little twinkle in her eye, like, oh. trying
sexy she knows. Read the room. Read the room. Read the room. Read the room. She's a girl. Yes. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your friends. You go be a man and go apologize. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. <laughs> No, baby, it's okay. It'll just take some time. She'll probably come <laughs> to you when she's ready. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, that is true. Yes, listen to your dad. That is exactly what us women want. Tell her how you feel. It's like that, you know? <laughs> Go on. You got this, be a man! 
Ayan. She looks beautiful with her short hair. They're gonna fall in love later on in this series. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the hell did you teach us, six year old? <laughs> Imagine being a dad. It's <laughs> I mean, yes, you know, when, when your child gets older, yeah, you're gonna have those conversations, but at six, holy crap. But I do understand that because I think, and this was only the way how I was growing up and stuff, and how my parents taught me certain things. I, I got to talk, like, hella early. I got to talk, like, I think two, three times and such. Um, only because my mom wanted me to know kind of at, as early as possible. So, like, for an example, let's say, like, what, in sixth grade, most of us had to learn that. I knew about it already, and, and it was so freaking awkward to have, like, teachers come up to me um, or me asking, like, a question. What if you already know certain things about this already? Because... I think a lot of my former teachers possibly assumed that parents wouldn't talk to their kids about certain things like that and stuff. And because my parents weren't like the everyday ones who didn't talk about it and they would shun and hide that from their kids, they were like, hey, let's show this. Like, she needs to know about this as early as possible and I think that's really the correct thing that you should do I, I don't know if nowadays if like especially with like school boards and districts and faculties and everything um if they do that I mean I get it like yeah around six years old is like hella freaking young to do it but you 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 have to kind of prepare them for that because like with situations like I don't like to talk about the r word let's sing an, or the s word or sr that so, yes, just in case, that's, like, the big emergency that kids need to know. But, I mean, yeah, I get it. Because, I mean, as a kid, a kid shouldn't really know everything. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Self is adorable. My God. She's so cute. <laughs> we better see more of her. Like, oh, I don't know who her Seiyu is. Her voice sounds very, very, very familiar to me. But I feel like we're going to hear, like, two different voices for her. So, of course, we have her little kid voice. And then when eventually her and Rudy do eventually maybe become teenagers or like maybe by the time they reach 10, I, I can't say if all, if all, <laughs> if all boys, um, voices dropped around like 10, it just depends. Like I, I knew one kid whose voice dropped at 10 and I was like, eh? But, uh, yeah, I think the next time when we do see these characters a lot older, I think that's when, you know, she'll still have her short hair because she's comfortable and she loves her short hair so much that she doesn't want to change it. And I love that. Like, with <laughs> with us as women, like, we can go and be like, okay, one week I want short hair, one week I, I want long hair, then I want medium style hair. Me, like, I mean, I go from 
<laughs> going from freaking braids to like a puff or just back to little braids and such or to like what my hair is in now into like a semi kind of ponytail but more like natural-esque and stuff or just like anything because you know us as freaking females we have very different versatiles of styles of hair and stuff like that but yes like oh this episode was cute like oh very very sweet and educational and such like oh the worst is so cute. <laughs> like i just feel so bad for rudy i mean but something told me i was like we were probably going to get something like this today i wasn't expecting it in today's Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four and three, two, one, go. Of course. <laughs> of course she's pregnant. <laughs> You deserve that, you fucker. You can't do that by yourself, not as like a pregnant woman. You might as well just stay here. Shut up! You're not in this conversation!
Excuse me? Yeah, but please don't sleep with Paul again. Like, come on now. I mean, seriously. <laughs> you know. I, what? You know, I thought Joseph Joestar was bad, but like, oh... I mean, yeah, he's good looking, but like, damn, you can look, but you don't touch. Like, come on now. Oh, God. I wonder if the baby will look like... Move, you just don't have the touch.
basically us. cheating I mean, yes, I understand the fucking urges, but damn, you have a wife! Wait, hold on. What if he wants to go to school? You want to go though, right? Yeah, she definitely does. We made a figure of her. <laughs> Of course, another little perv. Ha ha ha.
would say like, oh, this would be hard. He would go to school without Sylvie unless Sylvie could go as well. I mean, oh, she has potential. We all know that. You want to go? Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, so you can pay for both of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, your job? <laughs> and he's not playing around this time.
She knows who you are, duh. I mean, he's not, he's probably going to be away from her for like, what, two, three, four episodes, maybe? Like, okay, so it's been two years since Roxy has come. And maybe it's now, like, okay, because we already went through winter, so we're into spring, at least. So now this would be year three for him. Okay. Okay. I could, I could see him being gone for six months, uh, at least. So he might not be back to, like, winter. And hopefully, you know, Sophie still, you know, does her studies and such. But, like, He's doing this in order so that they can go to school together. I think that's so cute. Like, oh, like, I get it because she is attached to him and she doesn't want to lose him and he doesn't want to lose her. I think that's so fucking adorable. Like, oh my God. That's love. Oh my. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, my heart. Like, oh, this was good. This was a very interesting episode for today. I mean, you know, number one, we can always say, you know, fuck Paul, because fuck Paul, like. But at the same time, maybe I'm like, God damn, I was thinking like, oh, no, it's the other way around. Of course, Paul seduced her, but no, I'm well, you know, of course, for a woman. Most of us are capable of doing that shit, you yeah. know. Like, oh, okay, so I was kind of expecting, like, Rudy's mom to kick Paul out. <laughs> and, like, I have nowhere to go. Oh, okay, that's fine. You don't need to be here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I just, I, all right, we got, we got two beautiful babies out of it, though. Like, they're, they're both, and they're both girls. They're so cute. Oh, my God. That's why I want a girl so I could just, like, spoil the hell out of them. Same thing with a boy, but, like, I would, psh, girl, boy, whatever, I spoil the hell, had the hell out of my child eventually when I do have kids. Um, but, yeah, I'm ready to see, like, what Rudy is going to do on his job and how long he is going to be gone for. Like, like I said, I'm guessing, like, three to six months. And remember, this is all for self because he wants her to go to school with him together and so they don't be separated but something tells me that like once they do once he does get the money for her um eventually they're gonna separate i don't know why but like you know how when you get those really weird feelings about something like that's possibly gonna happen it ends up happening or just like bad omens or some shit that's what i kind of have right now with these two like i want them to be together so freaking close and eventually possibly even making a party together. But something kind of tells me in the back of my mind, like, everything that I want for these two kids, it's not going to happen. I mean, yeah, I could ask. Y'all could spoil me. But we, no, we're not going to do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes three and four of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the match squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes five and six. Bye, guys.